baby left me. I found a new place I'm a Elvis tribute act. I've been doing it for some time now. 80% of the work that we do is probably for charities. Travel all around the UK and Ireland and um, we'll travel wherever there's a gig. I'll be so lonely I could die. Basically, uh, the van was all loaded up to go to a gig in London. It was full to the brim with stage equipment, uh, speakers, sound equipment, uh, lighting, everything you could have that we have to perform with, basically. Um, and we were due to head off and uh, one of our lads said, can we use the loo? And he popped out to, get, to go to the loo and came back two minutes afterwards and the van and all the equipment was gone. Absolutely dreadful. Just could not believe what had happened. Just could not believe. Within two minutes it was gone. Um, you know, and uh, yes, it was our own foolish fault for leaving keys in the van, which we didn't realise at the time we had done that. And for some reason or another, uh, the guitar, my guitar, my authentic guitar, which has uh, Elvis Presley on it, which they wouldn't have known it at the time because it was in a guitar case, uh, and is worth about a thousand pounds, was left on the car park for me. So to this day, we don't really understand why that was done. Obviously, there's some reason why they did it. Okay, this is where the, this is the car park where the van was taken from, uh, the residence car park. The van was parked just in the corner, just underneath the tree. And um, we lost, if you include the van, about thirty-five thousand um, pounds. So it's quite a quite a lot of money. And as you can see, there's the skid marks. We get no compensation. Been onto the insurance company because the the keys was left in the in the van. You know, it's uh, there's no fault really and so it's, it's our own fault so we don't we can't claim so unfortunately that's going to hit us hard in the pocket to the person that took the van I'd ask them obviously to re, uh, return the van and all the equipment and uh, to anybody else that would have any information on the whereabouts of all the equipment and vannies uh, we were we are offering a thousand pound cash reward so if anybody's got any details obviously let us know